Global Warming Facts and Solutions Global warming is the extra heat within the Earth's atmosphere, which has caused the rise in global temperature. Global warming leads and continues to cause climate change. Climate change can cause rising sea levels, destruction of communities, flooding and coastal change, water scarcity, extreme heat, wildfires and storms. These hazards will have increasing impacts on the natural environment, people, and the economy. Here are some causes of global warming that are contributing to the climate crisis. Industrialization Industrialization has always seemed to be the key to wealth and better living but in reality, it has been shown that, although it leads to better conditions of living in certain respects, it affects environment and ultimately contributes to climate change. Industrialization not only involves technological innovations, it also involves economic and social transformation of the human society. With industrialization come opportunities as well as challenges. The challenges include coping with higher temperatures, extreme weather conditions, changing human lifestyles and changing philosophies. Due to these challenges, industrialization must take into account climate change and its consequences. For example, changing human lifestyles and philosophies have major impacts on environment and this has to be considered. Industrialization is harmful in a variety of ways. The waste this industry produces all ends up in landfills or in our surrounding environment. The chemicals and materials used within industrialization can not only pollute the atmosphere but also the soil underneath it. Waste Management Nature itself is already very fragile, and our reckless attitude is now destroying a whole world of living organisms and our very own home. Our energy production, product consumption and irresponsible waste management contribute directly to climate change by adding carbon-based particles into the air, which are produced during the burning of petroleum products. The result is warmer air, creating a disastrous greenhouse effect. The solution to waste management is currently landfill, which itself has a bad negative effect on our environment. Landfill is a waste disposal site where disposable materials are sent, and which actually presents a great risk due to the gases created in this open rubbish tip. High levels of methane gas and CO2 are generated by waste decomposition. Can we change this? Yes, a lot of these negative effects could be improved if humans slightly amended their behavior. By managing waste in a way that it avoids landfill and reducing consumption by reusing products, we avoid the creation of unnecessary waste. Nevertheless, by separating and recycling the waste we do create, we could reduce the amount of waste ending up in landfill. The waste that remains would actually be burnt to create energy, meaning less waste or nothing at all is actually sent to landfill. Recycling and zero waste habits take time, but every individual action matters. Since waste is an inevitable byproduct of humans, it is important to start making changes, even by taking smaller steps toward change. Start with avoiding single-use items and choosing durable materials that can be used numerous times instead, ensuring less waste ends up in landfill. Oil drilling Oil drilling is responsible for 30% of the methane population and around 8% carbon dioxide pollution. Oil drilling is used to collect petroleum oil hydrocarbons in this process other gases are released into the atmosphere, which contribute to climate change, it is also toxic to the wildlife and environment it surrounds. Power plants Power plants burn fossil fuels to operate, due to this they produce a variety of different pollutants. The pollution they produce not only ends up in the atmosphere but also in the waterways, this largely contributes to global warming. Burning coal which is used in power plants is responsible for around 46% of total carbon emissions. Deforestation Deforestation is the clearance of woodland and forest, this is either done for the wood or to create space for farms or ranches. Trees and forests turn carbon dioxide into oxygen, so when they are cleared like the stored carbon is then released into the environment. Deforestation can also occur naturally which has a greater effect because of the fumes released from the fire. Oil and gas Oil and gas is used all the time in almost every industry. It is used the most in vehicles, buildings, production and to produce electricity. 
When we burn coal, oil and gases it largely adds to the climate problem. The use of fossil fuels is also a threat to wildlife and the surrounding environments, because of the toxicity it kills off plant life and leaves areas uninhabitable. Finally, you can be a climate changer. Man is the ultimate recipient of the adverse effects of climate change, hence the need to initiate necessary adjustment measures. Most of the recent sporadic outbreak of infectious diseases can be attributed to climate change indicators such as rising temperatures and increased humidity. Besides there is need for social and behavioral adjustments for improved adaptation. Every one of us has a part to play and we must act now. We all together can make our world a better place.